today. I'm going to show you how to set a uh, valve lash on your Brayton Stratton overhead valve engine. Uh, the tools you need for this are a 3 8 inch socket and a ratchet to take the valve cover off. You need a Torx, not sure what number it is, it's a bigger one. 13mm uh, open end wrench or a half inch open end wrench and you need a feeler gauge so first start by uh, removing the spark plug boot push it out of the way so it's easier to get to the bolts for the valve cover and then we will remove the valve cover some gloves when you work inside here because it's uh, a little oily. So now when you set a uh, valve lash, the engine needs to be at um, top dead center on the compression stroke. So to find that, just turn the engine. Um, I'll briefly explain the stroke here. So when I started, it was like this, the exhaust valve was closed or open, I mean, and um, so turn the engine, that valve closes, and then the intake valve opens like this, and then it closes, and the exhaust valve opens for a split second to release cr compression, and then now we know the engine is on the compression stroke because it's getting hard to pull. So now we can set valve lash. Right, um, I've thrown the valves way out of whack so you can see they're extremely loose. Extremely loose. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, adjust them. First you need your 13 millimeter or half inch open end wrench or loosen the uh, locking nuts on the set screws. Just do one at a time. And then uh, the specs for this engine are between uh, four thousandths and six thousandths gap between the valve and the rocker. So I set it at uh, five thousandths. So take your five thousandths feeler gauge insert it between there and you get your Torx and tighten it until it gets tight but so you can so it's not super tight but also so it's not super loose so right about here is good so now be careful not to turn your middle uh, screw when you do this now get 13 millimeter and lock it in. And now the valve should be set right. We can check this by sliding our feeler gauge and it should be able to slide through and not get stuck. So this valve is set correctly. Now we'll do the intake. So same thing, put your feeler gauge in, and then tighten up, and set up. Tighten your Torx so it's tight. That's too tight. Put it back. That there is good. So now, not to turn your torque, as I said before. Tighten that. Check it again with the feeler gauge. Be able to slide it through nice and easily. 
easily. So now your valve lash is properly set. Last thing to do is just put on the valve 